Girl here, and I want to talk to you about how you can make your oatmeal a little bit more exciting. Okay? Oatmeal. It's good for you. It's got a lot of fiber in it. It fills you up. Um, it really, like, if you start your day with a bowl of oatmeal, it, you know, especially makes you feel all, all warm and, and cozy, and it's just comforting. And it really is super filling, and it's really good for you. It's, it's a really great whole grain. But it can be a little boring on its own, right? You can just plain oatmeal, maybe with a little, like, milk or something. Eh, boring. Okay, so we're going to spice it up. And we're just, I'm hopefully going to show you a few things you can spice it up with um, that's new or different or that you can really combine and really have fun with and start to mix and match. So your oatmeal never gets boring again. So there's nothing worse than boring oatmeal, right? There's nothing worse. So um, the first thing that I love to do when I make oatmeal is I love to put some sort of a nut butter in it, okay? So um, either a uh, peanut butter, like creamy or chunky is fine, or there's this um, almond butter with roasted black seeds that is freaking delicious. Has a little bit of crunch, has some really good flavor. Get both the flavor of the black seed and the almond butter within your oatmeal. Put a tablespoon or two of that in your oatmeal. Mix it around, it makes it creamy and oh my gosh, like talk about sticking to your ribs. It's so filling, it's so delicious. Um, and that's kind of more of a, a savory type of oatmeal. If you want to get a little bit sweeter, um, you definitely have some options for, for sweetening. Um, probably one of the easiest, you know, as you're looking at, you know, you could do some brown sugar, but that gets pretty boring, and then you're just putting sugar in. Um, you can also do a maple syrup or agave nectar, which has, um, affects your blood sugar a little bit better, and it's a little bit more natural. Um, I like to use this mix that's a maple agave syrup blend, so you get a little both, the best of both worlds. You can also try a spreadable fruit. Right? I recommend getting one that is simply fruit and doesn't have a lot of the, the processed and the high fructose corn syrup and stuff in it. One that's pretty much just, you know, sugar and fruit, but then you can do, you know, apricot, you can do berries, you can do cherries, um, you could do orange marmalade if you wanted and make it a little bit tangy. Um, but you can mix this right into your oatmeal too and it, and it can add some really good flavor to your oatmeal. Um, you know, and you can also, here's a novel idea, put some actual fruit in it. You know, chop up a peach, chop up an apple. Um, season it with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of um, cake spice. Hey, getting real spicy. Um, ground ginger is really good in oatmeal. Makes it a little kickier um, if you like a little bit of actual spice in your oatmeal. Um, also really good ways to, to mix it all up. You can put some raw walnuts in or I'll do slivered almonds or even whole almonds just to you know give it a di different texture than that kind of mushy stuff that oatmeal already is. Um, another option, gosh, there's so many options, um, dried mango, dried cherries, raisins, cranberries, um, or craisins, you know, any type of dried fruit, preferably get one that's um, unsweetened and unsulfured if you can find it that way, so it's a little bit more natural, but put that in and that will add some just natural sweetness. And if you have a little bit of a um, chocoholic in you, I will even do some chocolate chips every now and again. Um, it just takes a few. They get all melty. They get in there. They're delicious. If you're really looking for a treat, you can do, this is so good, you can do peanut butter with the chocolate chips and then maybe like a teaspoon of cocoa powder. Mix that all together and it is, I mean, it is full out dessert. It is so freaking delicious. So um, I encourage you that when you're making oatmeal, don't make it boring. Mix these things together, you know, do the do the almond butter, you know, with a couple walnuts, with a little bit of the dried fruit, make it like a trail mix thing. I mean, the, the sky is kind of the limit when it comes to, to oatmeal toppings. So have fun, get creative, um, and don't get bored, and enjoy every single freaking bite, okay? Uh, this is Jen for Fit Bottom Girls. Hopefully you got some great ideas. Please check out more um, of all of our different information and motivational posts on everything from nutrition to fitness, everything in between at fitbottomgirls.com and fitbottommamas.com. Thanks so much.